you know who is mad about the Texas Supreme Court ruling? All of them are evading, like responding to it. But one Republican senator did respond. Susan Collins said, I thought it was a terrible decision that may affect her future ability to carry a child. Was forced to leave Texas to get a much needed abortion. It's just inconceivable to me. Go all of the way to every hell that could ever be conceived of. Oh, it's inconceivable. It's incon. Is it as inconceivable as uh, Brett Kavanaugh ruling to strike down Roe v. Wade? Because I remember when you said he told me it was settled law. That'll never happen. I can totally put him on the Supreme Court. He never actually paved the way for these insane laws like we're seeing in Texas. Oh, you're really aggrieved by what you're seeing right now. You are an active participant in producing all of these situations. So get the hell out of here with your supposed last minute empathy. And also one thing to bear in mind going forward, because again, we have the Supreme Court that we do. They have now picked up a challenge to access to one of the most popular abortion pills. Now it was the Biden administration that has asked them to take up the case. Because the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit had issued a decision that would curb the availability of the drug. Again, it's just right wing zealots on one of the levels of the judiciary trying to stop people from having rights to control their own bodies. And I guess the Biden administration is hoping like, oh, I hope the Supreme Court allows it. And the Supreme Court has previously said that it should be up to the states. But they also killed Roe v. Wade. So everyone stay tuned. It's going to be an exciting decision. Adrian, what do you think? I, I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. Um, you know, the US Supreme Court has continued to show us, or this new uh, conservative right wing leaning court has continued to show us that it's completely rogue. It has no regard for stare decisis or precedent that this more, this is more about pushing an agenda, the right wing agenda, and they are legislating from the bench. Uh, and it's so crazy interesting because when so many of them sat before the Senate, they said um, there were certain cases out there, primarily Brown v. Board, that were weren't decided or they indicated that it wasn't decided correctly because it ignored precedent and totally strayed from it. And then they get behind the bench and they do the same damn thing yeah. when it comes to issues that support the right. It just, it, it's scary. It, it really shows us that these people can't be trusted and we really have nothing to hang our hats on in terms of having some understanding and expectation of what the laws are in this nation and how it should move forward. It's just so utterly frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, you really fast um, because you know I've, I've been raised to think that judges are unimpeachable fonts of judicial objective wisdom. You went you went to law school. Uh, the people that you were in law school with, that's what they were like, right? They were effectively angels who can do no wrong and have no political biases or anything else, right? Oh God, no! They told us basically. I think like twenty five percent of us would be disbarred. Like they, uh, they, they already kind of uh, counted on it. But the thing is, it's like so many of us lawyers, our entire career, our livelihoods, our outlook is based on the thought that we can predict what's coming next because we should be able to rely on precedent. That mm -hmm. has been eliminated by virtue yeah. of the Supreme Court. Where now we're just like, I don't know. We'll see. Yep.